Hello everybody and welcome to Connor Sports Talk. So uh, this video is kind of past due a little bit. I blame that mostly on uh, college. I, I currently, uh, I'm a freshman going on to uh, sophomore year. I just finished up uh, summer school. Uh, finished up my wax exam uh, today in fact. So uh, I'm gonna be talking about Ryan Spooner. So he signed a one year uh, deal which is worth uh, 2.85 uh, million dollars uh, so he was a restricted free agent but he went th he was about to go through uh, arbitration so uh, what that means really I'm pretty sure I explained it in one of my older videos but uh, I'm gonna explain it here too so when you're a free agent, you have the option after a while if the team does uh, contact you with the contract or you don't like your contract, you have the option to go through arbitration. So uh, the team has two options. Either they can just uh, go through arbitration. Actually, no, t technically they have three options. Boston did the third option. Not qu uh, option number one, they go through the arb uh, arbitration. Uh, which is uh, getting a third party involved uh, and uh, basically following, uh, telling the value of the player. After that, you could either sign it or walk away. And if you walk away, he becomes an unrestricted free agent. So anybody can sign him without having to uh, pay a fee and, uh, and draft picks. Uh, otherwise, if uh, he was a restricted free agent and a put and a team wanted him, they would have to uh, most likely, given how much uh, they pay him, have to pay a certain amount of draft picks. The uh, certain amount of draft picks is based off how much the player is worth and how much you pay him. It's all a compensation sheet. So, uh, option number two for the team was just to not uh, even go to arbitration, but again make the Ryan Spooner, an unrestricted free agent. Or, uh, option number three is get a deal done on your own before the arbitration uh, date is set. Or when they actually go through arbitration. You can set a date, but if you do it before the date is done, you can just do it with the player and the team, and you don't need a uh, third party. So that's what Boston did. Luckily for them and Ryan Spooner, or probably just uh, the team, they did it before the arbitration date, so they probably saved a little bit of money. If I believe I'm correct, like I remember uh, Ryan Spooner wanting like three point something million dollars a year. I, I I think he only wanted one year deal, a proof of deal. While Boston also wanted one one year deal. But only worth two million. Either Boston, uh, that was way too little money for Spooner, and Spooner was asking way too much money, so t for the three point something million. <laughs> so thankfully, uh, they came to a deal. So, what do I think of it, basically? Uh, meh. I mean, uh, it kind of sets back uh, JF. K's uh, progress as a player. Uh, if I believe he's only 20 years old, so he has plenty of time. And he's uh, like Charlie McAvoy, he came from uh, Boston University. He played one game uh, this season. But he's a center, too. That's why I uh, cut down uh, his progression with the resigning of Ryan Spooner. Uh. But with that said, uh, I do like Ryan Spooner to a certain extent. A lot of Boston Bruins friends don't really like him too much. I think it's a th good third line center. The problem was that we also lined him up as a winger. Sometimes on the second line on the Krejci uh, line, which is in his natural position. But uh, let's look at his uh, stats for the past two years. Well, that's this whatever you want to call it, 2016, he got 39 points. 
which is a down year compared to uh, 2015, where he got 49 points. I mean, those are uh, decent point totals. Uh, he's a very good uh, player in the, the power play. That's why I feel like we re-signed him. But that uh, being said, I don't know if he's going to stick with the team the whole year. We may uh, trade him. In all honesty. Uh, I know a few uh, Boston Bruins fans that uh, said that we're probably going to trade him at some point. I wouldn't be against that, honestly. But I also want to be against uh, keeping him for the year. But I do think that we should only keep him for maybe this year or in another year. Because we do have uh, decent prospects coming in for the center position. Like uh, Jake Scheichen. I, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but uh, Bruins fans know who I'm talking about. Uh, he's either a, a winger or a center. It's not defined. Sometimes on the prospect pool, he's called a, a center. Sometimes uh, he's a white right winger, or sometimes even a left winger. So nobody really knows. But he does look very good, and he could play this year as well as uh, Jacob Fabraska uh, Carson. He has a long name, so that's why we call him JSP. Uh, so those two prospects can play this year, and that could, uh, with the signing of uh, Ryan Spooner, that could damage their uh, progression, at least for this year. Or it could be actually good for them, for making them uh, way in the American League with uh, Providence. But, uh, I don't know. Ryan Spooner is a decent third line center, and he's paid a decent. He's paid good enough, and it's not a bad contract, really. C can you call a rental deal? I don't know if you can rent out your own player, so I wouldn't really call it that. But he's more of just a filler right now until we get our prospects ready. But until then, I'm perfectly fine with keeping Ryan Spooner and like some Bruins fans. I don't understand why he's a uh, fairly decent good player. And that's about it. Thank you guys for uh, watching. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to share. Thank you.